Daniel here for Tabletop for One. Please join me at the table as I unbox Halls of Hegra. And I thank you for joining me for this unboxing of Halls of Hegra. Halls of Hegra is a Kickstarter is delivering right now. I backed this and been looking forward to it. It's a worker placement survival war game. And I, I can't tell you how much I love all those things put together. That sounds wonderful. Now, this is designed by Peter Olson and published by uh, Tom Pet Games. And, oh yeah, I've been really looking forward to this. Can't wait to try it out. Can't wait to do a tutorial solo playthrough for it. And so it says here, from an abandoned mountain fortress, you command a group of Norwegian volunteers fighting numerically superior German forces in the early days of World War II. Halls of Hegra is a solo-only game where you play as the commander during the siege, which is divided into three stages. The mechanisms you will use are worker placement, bag building, and area control slash tower defense. Sounds absolutely amazing. So it's a single player only game and uh, it plays 70 to 90 minutes. Sounds perfect. I, oh man, sorry. I'm really excited about this one. Been waiting for this one. Can't wait to play it. Yeah, really looking forward to it. All right, so we have a couple of bags here and they're really, really nice little felt bags. So we have a hit bag, patrol bag, recruit bag. And that's pretty cool. And here's the rule book. Now this is a smaller size box, by the way. It looks like about a 10 by 10. All right, let's see. We have a list of components, and then the setup. Here's an overview and the gameplay. There's an event phase, a morning phase, and a day phase. So there's also event cards and weather and all sorts of things here going on. Infantry attacks, suppression, injuries, air tiles, damage tiles. So here's the morning phase and the day phase. Information on the machine gun, fire artillery, infantry sector, map row, airfield, and other areas. Moving supply runs, maintenance and repair, promotion and inspire. There's an infirmary and medicine cabinet, relapse and recovery, morale. Then there's a last stand here, interesting. There's other rules and adjusting difficulty. There's even an easier setup here. And here's some historical background for the game. So that's very nice because I know nothing about that part of the history. And then here's a player aid here. All right, and we have some counters and tokens here. Looks like just uh, one set. No, there's some more here. So some tiles and counters and tokens here. And here's a mobilization board. Supply routes, negotiate, coup. There's a variety of components here. We'll check out in just a minute. And then here's the game board here. And it's not too large of a game board. So it's a six fold game board. And it's, yeah, it's pretty small as far as the game board goes. Doesn't look too, too bad or too complicated here. Here you go, you can see more of it. Yeah, it looks really good. Now some of the writing is a little on the small side, but all in all, not too bad. I like the colors. I, I like the layout and everything. So the area here in the snow looks pretty clear of where things go and what things do. All right, and so we have a bunch of infantry meeples here. And these here are defender discs. They're all wooden with uh, printing on them. So that they look really nice, nicely well done. And there's a variety of different markers and cubes here. And as well as these ones here, these are artillery pieces as well. So those look pretty cool. And it looks like we have some small dice here. It looks like about eight millimeter dice, maybe 10. Yeah, little, little dice here, but not too bad. They look nice. All right, then we have a variety of cards. We have morale cards here, low morale and high morale, mission cards, last stand, siege cards, different siege cards, attack cards, first attack, mobilization cards and so these are I don't know what kind of finish or if they just didn't have a finish on them oh if I remember correctly they were supposed to have a linen finish and something happened with that the uh, the creator if I remember correctly was very open about it and apologetic about it not being there these are some of the mobilization cards everything looks fairly clear some of the iconography is really small as you can see in the corner here but the information on the card seems really clear and straightforward as to what it's telling you to do. So I appreciate that. 
looks like iconography is used where it's needed and not used where it's not needed. So that's really useful. So looks really good here. Keep moving along. Here's some of the mission cards here. And then we have the high morale cards here. And they do different things. It looks like during different uh, parts or stages of the game. So that seems pretty straightforward. Everything looks good. I kind of do wish it had the finish, but I, I understand at least the creator was open about it and didn't try to hide the fact that it just didn't happen. So I appreciate that. All right, and so there you go. That was the unboxing of Halls of Hegra. I know a lot of you have already received this, so I'm definitely eager to hear your thoughts about the game. Um, one of my favorite designers, David Thompson, who did the Valiant Defense series, which obviously this is like one of those games, he absolutely recommends this game, so I can't wait to play it because if it gets his seal of approval, I'll play it, absolutely. But definitely ask me any questions and leave any comments you'd like. Please also like and subscribe to this channel if you like the content you see here. And if you'd like to support me on Patreon, I have a link in the description and I thank everyone who has supported me thus far. And I thank you very much for joining me on Tabletop for One. Have a great night.